Hi folks, Basil Chapman here for the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. I just uh, finished doing uh, Tommy O'Brien's uh, show um, that's usually 9 to 10. Uh, he was unable to do it uh, and that's called the uh, market kickoff. Uh, I'm sorry, he wasn't able to do it in the fundamental way that he does it. But we are looking at the Dow up 416 points at 34,595. Yet again, just like yesterday, it went right to the nine period exponential moving average uh, in the Dow daily chart at 34,765. It went to 34,744. And now what we're looking at is what these opening bursts, the opening salvo. What happens in the market for the last, look, since Monday, look at the massive candles. Look at the size of these candles even last night after the Dow yesterday was up 500 points then closed down about uh, about 100 and so points what happened is it went down the, if you look at the YM which is the futures you'll see that it was down huge this morning it was down at 34,000 uh, sorry 33,532 it went right to the nine period exponential moving average and now it's pulling back it's above the 20 period 200 period moving average that's good so let's just do this and I'll tell you what we need to look for by this afternoon by about three o'clock uh, Eastern time this afternoon. If the Dow is holding uh, above uh, above a 350 point gain, that's good. But if it's at the high of the day, that is absolutely fantastic action. Then we should continue for another few days before we really get a test of internal strength because the QQQ is not working the way it should. The S&P right now is at 56. Um, it's this is not a bad candle, but it's stuck on that 200 period moving average. The QQQ index 100 is trading up four at 348.72. It really needs to be up at the 352, 358 area over the next couple of days. If you're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, that's a little bit that's a little bit different in that the pattern has been. Uh, not as good as the um, S&P or the Dow, and that's trading up two at 198. It needs to get to the 220. What is failing here is that gold is down sharply, down 23. And look at the dollar. The dollar is looking fabulous. It's trading up in leg C at 97.12. And the TLT, we'll talk about it in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, we'll talk about this 143 level in the TLT as soon as I return and check out my opening call daily newsletter.